you want to be in the video? Son of a gun. Hey! He just took his door thing off of the door. I want to play with it like a toy. Hi! It's not for Levi. Hi, it's the second week in February 2018 and I wanted to give you a little mini life update. I would like to try and daily vlog this week so we'll see how far we get. Here's what's been going on in a little bit of a nutshell. If you've watched before you know that I've been going to IV saline hydration appointments to combat my chronic dehydration. This is hard for me to get through, I'm really tired. I haven't been able to keep up with my IV saline appointments as per how my doctor wanted me to. In the beginning, it was okay because I was only going once a week and I had lots of time to heal in between. And by heal, I mean when I get one of those infusions, it at first it only hurt my elbow and then it hurt my shoulder and then it hurt my whole arm and now it's hurting makes my whole like right or left or whatever side of the body that they use it makes it extremely sore i mean i could tough it out for like you know a good six weeks but it just was too brutal for me i kept getting bruises and i would take a few sticks to get a vein that was stable and my joints are too sore to use my hands and feet and I had a long conversation or my mom and I and my doctor and the IV suite that he employs so we decided that it would be the best thing for me and everyone right now but especially me to put a hold on IV saline. I'll be honest with you it put me in a pretty dark place because it's like I thought I was making progress and then it feels like you have to backpedal even though I am still making progress this is just part of it and I like realize that now and I like consciously realized that before but not to the point where I could accept it and still continue to like live and not dwell on it and by live I mean like do self-care like executive function and as far as how I pulled myself out of it just a lot of like solitary time and meditation and consistent self-care as the best I could and continuing to ask for help when I could I wish I could give more details but honestly talking is making my ears hurt right now Whew. But I want to keep doing this. This is something that makes me happy. It makes me feel like I can still participate in the world even when I can't participate in the world. <clears throat> so I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment this week and I was supposed to get blood work done for it but because I was having so much trouble with the IV saline I had to postpone that as well. I have another appointment for my blood work to be done for this coming week. I have a doctor's appointment like about a week after that. He didn't want to give me a pick line um, because if I'm already having trouble with my veins, it's kind of like counterintuitive to think that a pick line would help. And instead of the IV saline, he just put me on a pain medication and oh my gosh i forgot the name of it it's like an ra medication it's for um inflammation and chronic pain and i will put the name of it right here because i forgot i had to go to the eye doctor to get checked for it and i finally did that i don't have any footage of it because i was having a really horrible day and it took hours and hours to do all the tests and i was just like not having it can i actually ever tell a nutshell version of anything like let's be honest here because of that blood work, I couldn't take my B vitamins. And as you, if you recall, I'm very deficient in B, sub B vitamins and my body cannot process them. And so I have to take a lot of it in order for me to get enough to function 
accordingly. So I was already kind of in a depressive episode when that happened and then it just made it even worse. It caused all sorts of hormonal problems because you know B vitamins are the building blocks for everything. I know that sounds like a general statement but I've no spoons to be specific at the moment. <laughs> Because of that, I ended up getting sick with whatever viral flu of the season that's going around. I've spent the last three or four or five days throwing up and having diarrhea, having a cough, and just general regular flu symptoms in addition to the sick that I the t kind of sick that I already feel and I've just been beaten down and I'm proud of myself for getting everything out and getting myself organized today but I'll tell you what it has been a really rough last two or three weeks for sure plans for February are trying to vlog and not put a whole lot of fancy stuff in the vlog and just put it out there and being like this is what I'm going through and even if I don't have anything interesting to talk about or to do or this i'm still gonna show you my sleep schedule's flip-flopped flip-flopped meaning i sleep in the daytime and i'm awake at night um and this is because my adrenals are wacko oh but i did want to say that once i did start taking the so because of the b vitamin thing and me being sick I got put back on the B vitamins and then we're gonna try blood work again this week like I said earlier and that's the entire B vitamins and sickness and doctor and everything update. Okay, cool. Let me grab you. All right, let's zoom out a little bit on the face. Hi, welcome officially to the vlog now that you're past the mini update. It is February 4th, a Sunday, 2018. We got the Levi down there. Levi, are you being good? I'm gonna clean up my room either today or tomorrow. I'm gonna have help. It's a priority for it to get cleaned up in the next couple of days. I have it on my little list. It's really hard for me to take care of my room. and It's not that bad. It could be worse. It could be better. I'm just trying to stay authentic, you know? And I've lately... Like, when I've been vlogging, I've been finding myself, like, picking up and, like, spending energy that I shouldn't be spending. Um, just so that I'm not embarrassed of my living conditions on the vlog, which, like, in reality, they're fine. I hate that saying that, like, the inside of your mind looks like your room because, in a way, it's, like, half true because I'm having a hard time. But at the same time, I think your room is a reflection, like, the messiness is a reflection of where your priorities are so i think it's like it just depends on what the mess is out of my mess is out of dirty clothes and self-care things and planning and my puke bucket and a towel and pajamas and just things that i'm using to live and it's i'm leaning on the tripod <laughs> right now if you are also messy as heck because you're ill, we're in the same club, I got you. All right, it's nine o'clock in the morning. I've been up all night since about 10 p.m. and I'm going to be eating dinner or breakfast. Breakfast? I guess breakfast, but it's actually my dinner. Working on my February intro for the vlog. I cannot tell you how amazing, like I'm back to myself I'm feeling after getting those B vitamins back. <clears throat> my throat's sore and dry. I just took some cough medicine and some Benadryl, so I'm starting to feel waste in the roof worthy. That makes it sound like I'm on like the lean or something, but I just, just because I'm not coughing and I'm not super inflamed, even though I'm pretty inflamed, but that's another discussion for maybe later today. <laughs> I'll see you then. So in case anyone was wondering how Daisy is doing, she's doing great. She is so energetic and she wants to play with everyone and she even tried to work yesterday when I was throwing up. She got her stitches out and she's so happy and so happy. She wants to play with the boys. Oh, thank you. Oh, and Levi brought us a toy. Oh, a piece of a string. Thank you. Stream. 
check up on Dender? Oh no. What's wrong, Levi? Ready to say goodbye to the rope. They have bye to bye have rope. a new rope. Say okay, bye bye rope. No Let's rope. go put him in the trash. Trash. You want this baby? I think that baby. Get that baby. Hit that reindeer head. He just is so excited that you want to play with him. <laughs> Hello. It is now 1.17 on the next day. 1.17 a.m. rather. Where the heck have I been all day? Why the heck didn't I show you what was going on all day? Well, remember that cold I told you about? Head cold, viral, whittier, whatever weirdness that's going around right now. Like chest, throat, nose. Well, so I'm in a lot of physical discomfort and I realize that I'm out of the strain of medical cannabis that I use for my joint and spine pain. In ME people, you know how debilitating that can be. So around noon today, I got dressed, I scraped myself out of bed, nothing fancy about that, <laughs> and I went to the dispensary and then... I came home, um, had a little meltdown of exhaustion, and then went to sleep and woke up at literally midnight. I'm like, okay, well, so much for the vlog, but I guess it's good that that happened. I guess it happened for a reason, because then you could see like why I haven't been vlogging lately is because that's the, how the majority of my days have been like I wake up around like 9 or 10 o'clock at night usually and then I'm up until 10 11 12 p.m. the next day and then I go back to sleep until 10 o'clock at night and because like I told you earlier my sleep schedule is flipped we're watching the puppy bowl and it's so cute Oh my god! I've got a cute little doggy. <laughs> Levi. He's keeping me company, taking good care of me. He went to the dispensary with me earlier. And shout out to the guys at the True Leaf in Orlando. Super cool guys. Like, I've been to a couple of tree leaves in the Central Florida area. That one is by far the best. As you can see, these, there's like nothing because I haven't done anything, but I just wanted to do these like self-care items today. And then whatever I didn't get done today, um, I will move into this column for tomorrow and continue to go down from there. I just try to keep it really minimal and not make the pages look too loud. So like today I had a list of self-care things I wanted to do to make myself feel good about myself. That's what I'm trying to get back on track with is self-care. That's the first thing that drops. Like body care, mind care, meditation, yoga, all the things. Anywho, moving ahead in this life of mine. Oh, I'm playing um, Pocket Camp often lately, so I will put my user information right here and add me on Pocket Camp so we can play. A little Animal Crossing. Well, puppy, what do you say, pup? Mom brought me some blueberry juice thank you in case you're wondering what I do to keep Levi busy when we're spending a lot of time inside is really I just ask for help from the other people in my family and they play with him and feed him and take him out and he plays with the other dogs and occasionally my mom will take him out with her in public but like not because she's like disabled or anything but just because so for their training and so he doesn't get rusty on public access right pup now you're gonna say for real goodbye to the vlog say thanks for watching our vlog we have a fun time shooting it are you falling asleep sitting up puppy you're so cute I really don't feel well and so I'm just gonna go now and edit and upload this baby and try again.
I decided this is gonna be the week where we just try, even though it's not perfect. It's so hard for me to release content that's not perfect. It's hard for me to do anything that's not perfect, and I think that's why I should continue to do the vlogs and upload them when they're not perfect or interesting or cool, because... Thank you for my rice and romaine. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this for realsies. That's what my real life is like. To make something up to do for the vlog would be inauthentic and not online with my brand, so. Man, I'm talking a lot. Okay, for reals, I'll see you in the next one.